Hello, I am Dr. Garrido. I'm urologist in Lix Instituto de Urología in Madrid, Spain. Today we are talking about Echo Laser. The Echo Laser is a diode multi-channel laser with up to four fibers that can be connected simultaneously but can work independently with different power and energy. Echo laser is used for a thermoablation of soft tissues and with a specific wavelength of 1064 nanometers, you can uh, get an optimal tissue penetration with the minimum uh, absorption. Differently from all other minimally invasive techniques for BPH patients that are transurethral, this echo laser procedure uh, works uh, with a transperineal approach through fine needles, 21Gs, and optical fibers for a precise, safe and localized treatment. Using uh, echo laser, you can uh, put low powers and low energies, up to 5 watts maximum, 1,800 joules maximum per fiber. If you use echo laser treatment, you don't need general or spinal anesthesia. You can uh, do it under local anesthesia in ambulatory outpatient setting. The core product is the Echo Laser Smart Interface, ESI. It's uh, compatible with your own uh, system ultrasound and is very useful to customize the treatment, giving graphical representations to preview needles insertion and positioning. There are several clinical applications of echo laser. The urological application is named echo laser soractylites, TPLA, transperineal laser ablation, focused primarily on benign prostatic hyperplasia BPH, but also includes focal therapy for prostate cancer and renal carcinoma. To treat BPH patients, we press this button, we select our on ultrasound we, we use uh, this uh, transrectal uh, proof we introduce it and we can see this needle guide that uh, is very useful to uh, help us in selecting what needle do we need to uh, treat uh, prostatic tissue. This uh, first step, we see the lines of the needle guides. And in this second step, you can select what needles do you need to treat the patient. You can select two needles at the same time you can modify the jewels, upgrading the ellipsoidal shape of treatment, and also you can move the selected area or you can add a pullback to treat a longer a prostates. It's very important in this step to check that all critical structures uh, like uh, prostatic capsule, uh, bladder neck and urethra are uh, far from the tip of the laser fiber uh, in order to uh, avoid uh, adverse effects. Criteria for patient selection include prostatic volume, although there is no max volume like uh, for other techniques. Another criteria, criteria is pathologic Qmax and pathologic post-void residual volume over 50 cubic millimeters. Another criteria uh, is a uh, patient that wants an alternative to traditional surgeries, no response to uh, pharmaceutical therapy or patients who desire to preserve ejaculation. Echo laser TPLA treatment is a good option also for patients with median loaf, catheter carrier patients or high surgical risk patients. In the post-treatment follow-up, you can find prostate volume reduction and symptom relief, but the effects are not immediate, with gradual tissue resorption that will occur in the 4-8 weeks post-treatment. 
Catheter removal is considered upon spontaneous voiding, otherwise be maintained some days after the treatment depending on the patient's clinical conditions. The use of the transperineal approach prevents damage of the urethra. You prevent hematuria, irritative symptoms, integrated ejaculation and urinary incontinence. Moreover, this kind of approach keeps the operator constantly informed with real-time visualization through transrectal ultrasound about the exact position of the laser applicators. Clinical outcomes of Echolaser TPLA include improvement of urinary symptoms and quality of life in EPSS score, a reduction of post-void residual volume, and the most important is that ejaculation is preserved in the majority of cases. This treatment is a very good option in high-risk patients with severe complications, and the ejaculation is preserved in the majority of cases. In a recent RCT study uh, comparing TPLA group versus TRP group, 96% of patients preserve ejaculation instead 28 of the TRP group. The safety profile of the treatment, its performance and the versatility of the technique make this treatment a promised option for many BPH patients. International peer-reviewed literature is available and it includes two RCTs versus TRP, a systematic review, a Delphi consensus, a cost minimization analysis and long-term three years durability of clinical outcomes.